Hey guys, I came across this really good video about getting started with VS Code Go. And I thought I'll do a quick getting started with Vimgo tutorial here. So let's begin, shall we? I've covered this in a previous video, but let's just run through it from the beginning since I've updated the README. Just gonna quickly create a YouTube directory, follow the instructions. And the good thing about my version of using Go, Go IDE is that I effectively just use a Docker image for everything. So if you look at this video, he has to, you know, download Go. He has to then download, uh, you know, VS Code, download all the Go, whatever binaries that you need. And that takes like, God knows how long. So already, I think uh, in my, my, my way of doing it with Vimgo is much better. It takes, saves time to get an up, up and running environment. So the next thing he does, once he's got the environment up, which takes a long time, is that he starts writing a function. Uh, oh, I think what you need to do is go go mod in it, and in it. And unfortunately, there's there's no shortcut with with my solution either. You have to do a go mod in it too. So go mod in it. Example.com uh, YouTube demo. One thing that he does is that he has to write everything up. The cool thing about Vim Go is that you already you can just go Vim space main dot go and you and it sort of like sets up you know some defaults for you. And as I point out in the readme. There's a whole bunch of nice little shortcuts, um, like you know, just leader R. Let me just uh, run screen key so you can see my, so you can see leader R, and I'm and I can just run it. So he sets up a mascot directory and then writes a function here. I can do the same thing quite easily. Um, mascot. mascot.go uh, so he's got something like best tux and uh, string return uh, like best mascot <laughs> best mascot tux and then this would be in the package mascot Now, if I wanted to use that in main, I would simply just go uh, mascot best um, mascot. Hopefully that will just figure it out exactly. Okay, it's working. So I think one advantage that VS Code does is that it can detect the dependencies a little bit better, but other than that, I wouldn't bother. Another cool thing, I mean, I'm sure VS Code has this, but like, for example, if you press F12, I go straight uh, into where I define that function. So that's pretty handy. Control O to go back. So what is this guy doing? Oh, he, he adds a quote. So similarly, there's this function called quote.go, I think. Quote.go. Again, you have to like drop out and do like a go install. Uh, I think it's rsc.io.quote. Oh, sorry, go get. You got to know your God go commands kind of. So you can see that the now it's in there. If I go back in here, it should just detect it. And of course, now I also get a go quote. So what else does he do? Um, well, he writes a test function by hand. Now included in this go IDE is this thing called uh, go tests. 
And let me show you how it works. So say I wanted to test this, this uh, mascot function that I've written. Okay, I'll, I jump into the right file while going F12. And then I run this go tests uh, and that generates a stub, which is pretty handy. Um, to move to that particular test, you go slash GA and that slash GA means as I've documented here, switch between test and code, right? So I got a table driven, driven test right here and uh, I need to now run go full struct. So I just want to test this right. So um, uh, tux is the best and then That's the test. Um, of course, I could make a negative test or whatever. Um, and, uh, and then I would go slash GA back to the code. And then there's another bind here to just go test slash T. Oh, I, I don't think I saved this one. Let me go back into test, save. Go back into the code slash T slash t oh sorry i was running the wrong command anyway it's easier to generate tests it's easier to run the tests in this vimgo environment i hope you appreciate that what else does he do i think that we do or we don't do i think so just 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 to compare using VS Code or Vimgo, what do you use? This Docker image makes it quicker to set up the environment. You get the efficient, you know, beloved Vim key bindings out of the box. Um, it works in a terminal, of course. And there's that easier ways I just as I just demonstrated to, to generate table-driven tests. And then there's like a bind to, to test them, to run the tests. So I think this Docker image is a really productive environment. If you know better, please let me know below. Otherwise, like the video. See ya. Thanks for getting this far.